everybody. It's Rhino and Brian. It's Dave. Hello. We are at Typhoon Lagoon today, and my hat makes me look like a moron, but um, we are getting some lunch here, and it was quite hopping at the other place we were going to go to, Leaning... Leaning Palms. Leaning Palms. Yeah. So we ended up at the Snack Shack, which is closer to where the, um, the reef area is that's now closed, where you would um, like the shark swim reef. with the sharks. Yeah. So yeah, so we went over here. There seemed like there were some cool options. I got this interesting waffle, cornbread waffle sandwich. Steve, you got a... I got a barbecue pork sandwich. And then Brian, you got a... Turkey wrap with Tur fries for a dollar more. For a dollar, okay. oh, for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I had to go with these weird chips. Yeah, I wasn't, uh, I didn't want to be too uh, frivolous with my money. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, we're gonna dig in. We're gonna see what it all tastes like and all that jazz, so. You're a couple bites in. Not good. <laughs> I said to these guys, it tastes like what you'd expect from an elementary school cafeteria for their pork sandwich. Just has a weird taste to it. The bun, look, the bun actually, I think, looks good, but it just tastes bad. I don't know. Not good. I'd give it like a D. How much was it? Uh, oh, that's a good question. I have the receipt. Nine ninety nine. Is it nine ninety nine? It was nine ninety nine. Unless you want a prize. So yeah, it's nine ninety nine. What'd you get to drink? Uh, just a Coke, which also tastes bad. It tastes like there might be suntan lotion in my, my Coke, so just not a good meal. I waited till your mouth was as full as it Thank could you. be to put it at you. What do you, what do you think, Brian? How's the wrap? I was wrong. It's a chicken wrap, not a turkey wrap. That's one. Uh, <laughs> How much was that? It's for the same $9.99 plus a dollar for fries. Mm -hmm. um, it's good. It's pretty good. How's your Coke? Dipping suntan lotion-y? No, that's fine. It I got a, I got a Diet Coke. So it must just be the regular Coke. Well, clearly, as always, I have the winner in the group. <laughs> I got yours. Just looks good. Well, it was like so. It's a cornbread waffle. So they do they use the waffle things because they also do a waffle sandwich that's like fruit in it. You know, like they have at Sleepy Hollow at Magic Kingdom. So it uh, they do cornbread waffle for the base, and then it's got pulled pork and a tangy. Um, what's that? What's that called? Coleslaw. 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 I don't know why it escaped me, but um, I I like when people put coleslaw on top of uh, sandwiches, pork and stuff like that. And um, it's pretty good. Mine was $10.99, but does not come with a side. Or at least they didn't give me one. So I'm going to have to investigate that on the way out. But I don't think you're missing out. This is not that great of a side. It's like Doritos without the flavoring on them. Maybe that dollar was worth it, huh, Steve? <laughs> yeah, uh, so clearly mine's the winner. Um, my, my The cornbread sandwich could have been left on maybe a little bit longer to make it a little firmer, but I'm not I'm gonna, gonna nitpick here, clearly. There's no master chef at work at any of these restaurants, but... Um, so I guess we'll just continue eating and we'll give it a rundown when we're done here. Okay, we are all done with our food and we actually ate at, what was the name of it? Typhoon, Typhoon Tilly's? Tilly's? Yeah, I thought it was called the sh uh, Snack Shack because that's what it said on my receipt, but... I, guess not. I don't. Mine, mine was like right next year, so I don't know if it's two locations. Yeah, I think one it might have or, been a separate thing. I'm not sure. But it's literally right next to each other. So, um, overall, your I thoughts? Thought it was horrible. <laughs> big thumbs down. But it could have just been my sandwich. Yeah, Brian. Not bad. It's alright. I think it was. It was okay. Like I, I actually, I won the sandwich. I, I yeah, like the you, you definitely had the best choice. I think they need to have some other option here because like it's all quick service and it all seems to be very like pizza sandwiches they, they need to like have a little bit I feel like they need some more salads to be honest with you there it doesn't seem like there was a lot of like yeah it, it's quick it's like what Steve said it's quick service but it's also not the right quick service yeah I guess there is a hot dog place though too um so I don't know we'll have to come back and try one of the other places the other one was called uh Leaning palms. Leaning palms. Leaning palms. Leaning palms. Leaning palms. Leaning palms was like super, super busy and slammed. Yeah. So the next time we come back to Typhoon, I think that's we'll try that. We'll give that one a try. But they, honestly, there was nothing exciting over there. And the only reason we came back here is because I thought the cornbread waffle sandwich thing looked interesting. Well, and because the, the, we knew the lines were going to be shorter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and even with that, we had trouble finding a picnic table. Yeah. So there's only like there's one area and then two others that are really small, like have three or four tables. We had to like walk down a pathway, and we got lucky and and got one right there. Then, but I, that was kind of a, like, what do you do? It's not even open for eight hours, so I don't think they expect too many people to eat here. Yeah, so, maybe that's it. Maybe, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of drink stands set up, but not a lot of food places. So, um, so have you eaten here before? What do you think of the food at the water parks? Let us know in the comment section. And, um, yeah, so I guess that's it. We'll see you guys later.